So there was a March for Science over the weekend. Thousands of people flooded the streets in uh, cities across the country. And creationist Ken Ham decided to go in on the fun. And he decided to lecture the attendees of the march about what he thinks is real science. Uh, so here's what he said. Creationists understand science correctly. Wow. Recognizing difference between belief, interpretation, and observation. Most secularists don't get it. Uh, science means knowledge. There's a gigantic difference between beliefs regarding origins and what one directly observes. Evolution is belief. Secularists refuse to recognize difference between historical and observational science as they don't want to admit evolution is a belief. One can observe process of natural selection and, and speciation, but that has nothing to do with the molecules to man... That, but that has nothing to do with molecules to man evolutionary belief. I don't even know what that means. Most of those in the so-called March for Science don't understand what real science is all about. I'm sure they don't, Ken, Ken whereas you do. Uh, they've been brainwashed by secularists. Secularists use word science to indoctrinate millions of kids in schools with their religion of naturalism, atheism, using taxpayer money. How sad is this guy? He has done more mental gymnastics than anybody on the planet to try to brainwash himself into believing the shit that probably he deep down knows is not true. Look at... Because... Hey, Dick Weasel, here's the point. When you talk about science, so you talk about evolution, um, you know, you talk about climate change, for example, here's what scientists actually do. They observe what's happening, and they report it. That's basically what it is. You have the scientific method. So you come up with a hypothesis, you test the hypo hypothesis to see if it's true. If it doesn't work, you go back to the drawing board, you come up with another hypothesis, you test it to see if it's accurate, to see if it's true. And at the end of the day, if the evidence and the data and the facts match what your hypothesis is, then your hypothesis becomes a theory. Now guys like this love to point out the word theory and say, aha, evolution is just a theory. But theory in a scientific sense basically means the word fact. So it's been proven through the rigorous testing and process of the scientific method, and we learn that indeed this is the way that something does function. So we have so much evidence for evolution. We have the fucking fossil record, we have, you know, when you talk about something like the age of the earth, this guy thinks it's 6,000 years old. Bitch, it's 4.54 billion years old. Not only are you off, you're off by like, <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know how to, calculate that. You're off by so much, it's mind-boggling. And how do we know? Well, we got radiocarbon dating. We got all these different dating methods to figure out. You could tell by, okay, look at the layers of rock and, and how deep it goes, and you can measure, and he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't care. All of the observ observable evidence, how we know, for example, the universe is 13.9 billion years old, how you the universe is expanding, and you can measure it, just how far it is. And how you do the math depending on how much it moves in a given amount of time, and you extrapolate back to when the universe was on the fucking head of a pin. So we learned all these things, we know all these things. He's like, no, I'm going to reject that, because the secularists are atheists and this is a belief. No, it, it, to the extent it is a belief, to believe in evolution, it is a belief based on the plethora, the overwhelming majority of the evidence pointing in that direction. So no, it's not equal. He see, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to say like, well, what do you mean? They believe things, we believe things, and uh, you know, uh, they don't even want to give all the different options in class because your option is utterly made up. He wants you to teach the Bible and creationism, but we that's already been debunked and disproven. We know the world isn't 6,000 years old. We know that humans didn't ride fucking dinosaurs. Dinosaurs died off 65 million years ago. Humans weren't even around then. At his shitty fucking creation museum, there's people riding dinosaurs. So... He just wants, oh, well, no, come on, secularists have a religion, and our religion is Christianity, and why don't you teach both of them in the science class? Because yours is not science! Turns out the atheists, the naturalists, as you derisively call them, they believe in things that are provable, that are testable, that happen in the real world. That's why it's in the science class, because it's goddamn science. You don't believe in science. So, and you know how you flip this right back on this guy? It's very simple. You say, okay, so you want to allow Christianity into the science class. You want to just teach the options. What are you talking about? Sure, you could teach evolution, but also teach creationism and give them a choice. And yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, while we're at it, since we got to teach the options, what about Islam? 
Should we teach that Muhammad uh, flew to heaven on a winged donkey? Should we teach that that's factual? And that Muhammad is the prophet? Should we teach that as a fact? You're saying teach it all in the, in the science class. You want Christianity in science class? Why not teach the Bhagavad Gita in the science class? Why not teach? There are 4,000 religions, more than that, in existence today. Why are you not teaching about Xenu? Why are you not teaching about the magic underwear of the Mormons? Because you are an atheist when it comes to all those religions, the only one you believe in is yours. No evidence. The, uh, mine is right. Only teach mine and maybe the, the evolution part to dismiss it and push it aside. Uh, you know, but we're the right ones, but you don't have any basis for that. You have no basis for it whatsoever. So if we open the door to teach your bullshit metaphysical beliefs, you gotta open the door for everybody's bullshit metaphysical beliefs. My stance is don't allow any of the bullshit metaphysical beliefs in, only allow in the actual science, which yes, is on the side of the naturalists, the atheists, the secularists. We're in the science class because we actually believe in science. You're not in there because you don't believe in it. You believe that there's a dude, uh, that, uh, there's a seven-headed dragon that exists, you believe in a book that says it's immoral to eat shellfish. It's a sin against God to eat shellfish. You're, you believe in a book that says you can't wear a mix of two different garments. You believe in a book where daughters rape their father to have a baby. You know, you believe in a book where God's a genocidal psychopath through half the fucking thing. You believe in a zombie Jew carpenter who walks on water and does magic tricks. You believe in a wizard, a wizard in space. That's not science. Stop pretending it is. You have silly beliefs. Get that through your head.